Aquaman 57, Kelly Sue Deconic writing with Robson Roca on the art. Uh, this is the aftermath of the big fight where Mira, you know, created the big water version of herself and fought mm-hmm. the, 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 the Mecha Manta. And this is them um, needing to rush her to hospital because, uh, of course, she's pregnant. And they are going to, like, call in a chopper, but it's like, no, no, no. Like, she needs to go to an Atlantis hospital because her, her physiology is completely different. That way yeah, they don't know how to treat an Atlantean or Isabellian. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I really like those couple of panels of Arthur just carrying her down into the water. Yeah, yeah. Now, really good stuff. I, I thought, you know, tying into the Euro villain stuff, you know, did throw a little wrench into this, like the flow of this book a touch. Mm-hmm. I, I think this issue, you know, not only was it kind of back on form for me, it's back on form whilst also bringing in more of the Mira and Atlantis stuff that's been kind of just like there you know before the year of the villain stuff it was only just briefly there a little bit you know it was like okay she's mm-hmm. pregnant okay we're going to have to do this this uh fiance thing with volco which by the way arthur's reaction to that <laughs> when he hears about it uh yeah. is is pretty fun so yeah so he takes it out of the water like you say that page is great they go down to the hospital and uh, they bring dolphin back here uh who's there mm-hmm. for treatment uh, there's a lot of sick people down the, the hospitals here and the guards get kind of get kind of rough with them and tell them to leave because the queen's down here um and i feel like this is something that's going to like maybe come up a bit more prominently next issue yeah we know that yeah. there's an epidemic going on so mm-hmm. obviously there's all the a lot there they're filled to capacity yeah right. so and dolphins kind of treated like scum because of who she is as well uh so i'm sure we're going to maybe get some sort of proper you know, follow yeah. on from this uh, next issue when you know maybe she get, runs into Aquaman or or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so we have this uh, funny little exchange where he finds out about Volko being engaged to Mira uh, in name only, of course. And I loved, I you know what Orm because Orm kind of represents like a part of Aquaman for me, which I like, but it'd been overused for a long time. And I was kind of happy yeah. we hadn't seen him in a little while here. And I think when he st- he just stormed into the hospital demanding to be there for, for the Queen, I just kind of started laughing because I thought this is kind of wonderful. Yeah. I'm, I'm into this. <laughs> yeah. It's very, it's very soap opera-y. Yeah. Right? But uh, it's, it's yeah. soap opera where he's got this ridiculous fish mask on and yeah. he's walking out with a silver trident. Like, it's just something so ridiculous about the whole thing. And then like, him and Arthur kind of arguing with each other and... Yeah, all the rest of it. And then the doctor comes out and like says, quit yelling, you're here for her, so how's the healing, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then the big fail reveal, of course, is that she's in a coma. She went past her natural defences for what her powers are supposed to do. Uh, but in the meantime, we also have to deal with, you know, we have to meet someone. And the final, you know, is it the final? Yes, well, more or less. It's the second last page. Uh, she brings out the little baby, the little daughter. And uh, the final page is Arthur she's holding his, his ginger daughter yep yep so uh that yeah. i mean we, we know from earlier in the issue there was five months so this is and, and they do you know say oh no mm. she's here early mm. so this is very early um yep that is a full head of hair for five months <laughs> i mean she is a belly in yeah so, zebel yeah. zebel physiology zebel crossed with ginger equals hair that just won't stop apparently yep. so uh so i mean going away from the medical improbabilities perhaps which again maybe just be silly to even consider because of we're talking about underwater people but uh i thought this was, was a great issue aquaman i i was really into it i think it you know topping off all the stuff that's been building to uh, in and around the, the tie-ins that it's had to do uh that's like a big deal uh and you know i kind of a step forward now maybe they'll they'll reckon all this too soon because they've been known to do that from time to time but I'm kind of digging the fact that Aquaman is yet another superhero now who's got a kid. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I did uh, just find some of the, the conversations, you know, in the hospital. I, I think that section of the issue went on a little bit too long. Um, it just, just could have been trimmed down by like a page or two, I think. Um, could have been tightened up. Maybe I'm the only one who feels that. Yeah, how are you feeling, Matt? I mean, I, I like it. It's... Kelly Sue has this real fun way of making like even the silly stuff like ocean master like pete said it makes it work that he just basically kicks the door in the hospital <laughs> and is like as former king i demand to be here <laughs> like and you're like well no back out of here or you're off go find your earth family or your dry land family he's, he's no he's he's a visiting dignitary from the city of dagon yeah. so yeah, he's, he's, he's doing his own thing he, he's he's yeah. here as a, as a state visitor not not as as a previous yeah. king so but no, I, I like it. It's it's 
Well, that's the thing. I like all the individual beats. Uh, I just yeah. think there's a, quite a lot of them just stood in that room, you know, in that waiting room. Uh, yeah, a lot of the issue, and I think it just goes on a bit long, uh, especially after Orm comes in and you know they get split up. Then I feel like okay, there's another like two or three pages of us just yeah. being well, told, oh, this is what happened with Mira, and you know it, I feel like it just goes on a bit too much. No, I'm, I'm okay just because of also it, it like when you have uh, Setia or whatever uh, his name, Setia show up, you know, uh, wanting wanting to see what's going on, and you have all these other where again it felt like. Uh, I don't want to keep saying a soap opera, but almost like a, like the birth episode of a sitcom, right? Mm-hmm. Where we're seeing everyone's reaction to the people that are showing up, and I, and I like that because Arthur's not supposed to be in Atlantis, you know. So the fact that he's there and now there's a baby and it's just all crazy. And if if the queen's in a coma and the baby really can't, so who's who's the regent when she's Volko, Volko's taking <laughs> taking his uh, yeah, place. but you know, yeah, but is that going to go over? Is well, Sadia going to accept um, that? Like, given that the 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 final line says, it, uh, you know, next it takes a village. I'm yeah. assuming that he's taking you know the the young uh, yeah. the young princess back up to the to the surface to be raised by I think so. all all of the old gods. Hmm. Why yeah. not? We again, we have a lot of fertility gods. In yeah, there. they 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 know what they're doing. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, no, I, I, I kind of loved that it was just focused on like, okay, we have to go to the hospital and we spend the rest of this in the hospital. I kind of, I, I, I like when they don't feel the need to like. St- and, it, and it did have some good world building because it was setting up all this stuff that's going on in Atlantis, which, which we've mm-hmm. not really seen much of. And using Dolphin as a conduit for us, where okay, if you've been reading Aquaman for a while, but you know before Kelly Sue's run, you know who that is. She means something to you. So having her be turned away and treated like this is like okay, we have a stake in here to to care about the fact that they're being mistreated. It's not just some faceless Atlantean, which is cool. So yeah. uh, I, I kind of dug that. Um, so no, yeah, I was into it. And obviously, uh, Roca's art, uh, as per usual, is pretty solid not perfect but yeah yeah honestly i think my biggest problem with the issue was actually on the very first page that kind of dense recap panel mm-hmm. that felt not enough to be a recap page um but too much to just be in one panel at the start it was just really like awkward i don't know uh did, did anyone else find that like just didn't flow that well Which... to start the issue like the very first panel Look. um there's on the splash page that we got at the start. There's just a like a, a narration box, um, full of you know recap stuff, and I don't know. It it just didn't play right for me. Uh, fine by me. Bit, I'm still not over Aquaman tattoos more than that. It's like <laughs> those those stick out more than the the recap box. You know. I mean, honestly, like if we can't have a proper recap page, I'm okay with a panel like that or a yeah. narration box like that at the start. Yeah, fair enough. I just I don't know, it was too dense to just be a a narration box like that for me. Yeah, I, I mean I prefer that it's there than it not being there. Yeah, fair enough. I appreciate I appreciated the uh, the you know just the the catch up here. That's what happened last time. Remember? Mm-hmm. Basically, mm-hmm. comics need their version of the previously on Lost. Yeah, and that's <laughs> what this felt like. Yeah. So, ah, oh, cool. Uh, we give it a map. I'm gonna give this a seven point five. Connor. Yeah, seven point five. Uh, I'll go. I'll just go a touch higher. I'll go with the eight. I, I, I dug it.